I am so thankful for all the birthday love that I've been getting so far. And I couldn't help but acknowledge my cousin. He used something. Shout out to Gerard. He was like, happy birthday, cuz. Turn up. And so when he said turn up, I thought of the term that they use nowadays, lit. And when I think about lit, I think about fire. When I think about fire, I think about the desire that we have inside of us when it comes to the relationships that we have in our lives and how important it is for us to have that fire inside of us. What do you think the devil's biggest plan is, is when two people come together? When two people come together, what he's doing, is he's trying to separate them. What easier way to separate them when the fire goes out? When you've been in a relationship, when you've been in a marriage for one, two, five years, when everything becomes routine, when you fail to continue to grow together, when you become complacent where you are, accepting of where you are, that's exactly what he wants. So that way he can send that old ex that used to say all the right things at the right time, that old ex that knew what could get you back with them. That's when these people start to come out of nowhere. Do you think it's by coincidence that these people come out of nowhere? Absolutely not. There's no such thing as coincidence. It's all about the placement. He's placing these people in your life during those times because you fail to remain lit. As believers, we're always lit. We're lit because we have the light of the world on the inside of us. We have Jesus that resides, the Holy Spirit that resides inside of all of us. So we're always lit. And we always have that fire, that desire to do our duties, especially when I'm, I'm talking about marriage, when we're talking about marriage. It's our duty to reflect Christ in each person. Each person is reflecting Christ. And we're working together to do life together, to grow together continually. That process doesn't stop after the altar, after I say I do. That's actually when the process begins. So let us stop looking at getting into that ideal relationship or that God-ordained relationship and think that it's the finish line. It's actually the starting line. Have you trained the right way? Have you prepared for it? Are you willing to put in the work that's required to maintain it? Let's continue to use our lights to always remain lit in our relationships.